Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with a special time on a Saturday night because tomorrow night's my son's birthday and I uh, couldn't couldn't do it then. And I figured we'd have some fun. Put Metal Complex in its place. Uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, Metal Complex and I get along well. This is all just in good fun. I don't know if you guys have seen our trash talking over social media all the time, which I'm way ruling at the trash talking. He's not nearly as good at it as I am, but that's understandable. It's my job, so uh, it makes sense that I'd, I'd be okay at that. But, uh, you know, this is all in good fun just to do a little cross-promotion with the channels. Uh, he's going to be live at 9 p.m. Central Time. Central Time? Who goes by that? Just make it Eastern like the rest of the planet. Uh, but anyway, he's going to be live at 9 p.m. Central Time. There is a link down below where you can vote. A lot of you guys have accused both of us, rightly so, of being kind of hinderer biased channels. We're both big hinderer fans. So I put my... I think my coolest Tinder, I have five. He's got one. So, you know, I'm already winning. I've already won. But uh, this is my uh, No Choil Warncliffe DLT Trading Exclusive XM18 with a carbon fiber uh, Warhog scale on it and all blacked out hardware. So uh, I had to give it a name because he gave his a name because I don't know. I guess it's what you do now. This is the Dark Horse. Yeah. Mine's War Pig. It's a Black Sabbath reference. Infinitely more metal than Dark Horse. And I know for a fact, he didn't even come up with that name. Somebody else did and gave it to him. I've seen screenshot evidence. He didn't even come up with that name. Came up with this one all by myself. It's a Warhog scale, War Pig. It's black, Black Sabbath. I think it's cool. Uh, his is more black than mine, but uh, I like the working finish. I think it looks cool. But yeah, this is, this is, this is all just in good fun. But yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he'll uh, have time to uh, step out of his, his home gym and flexing in the mirror and giggling about nothing and have time to pop on here and say hello to, to us. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, he might be busy making protein shakes and wall burgers and all the other stuff that he does. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm losing by 10% technically, Luca. It is. I am losing right now. I am losing. I is 60-40 uh, currently to him. So go vote. The link is down below in the description. Go vote. Vote. Vote often. Vote frequently. I don't care. Election tampering is a, a pastime of this country. Go do it. I don't care. Whatever you got to do. I got I got to beat him. There is a bet involved and we have not talked about the bets yet. So here here is the bets. We said we'd talk about this in a live stream and now he will as well. My bet my bet is uh if if he loses, he has to carry this open L for a week straight if he loses. The joke of that is he hates open Ls because he's a weirdo. He really, 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 really dislike, dislikes open L's. I don't understand why. It's a knife of the people. French people, but still a knife of the people anyway. But he hates them. How can you be a knife guy and hate open L's? I don't get it. But this isn't just any open L. This is an open L with my logo on it. And part of the deal is that he has to carry it for a week and proudly, proudly show it to someone other than his wife and videotape it so that I know that it happened. So he has to carry this for a week if he loses. If I lose uh, next week on Bruising Blades, um, I have to uh, drink a Bud Light with a Metal Complex sticker on it for my beer of choice. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, I won't be enjoying that either. So, uh, yeah, my son turns 21 tomorrow. I said, you're going to have five Bud Lights in the refrigerator because I'll drink the one for that, and that'll be it, and they won't get – I won't drink them. Yeah, I can't do that. But, uh, by the way, it leads us to tonight's beer. It is still Brews and Blades, so I'm drinking Warhorse, which is kind of appropriate, I think. Warhorse, Hazleton Hero, Amber Lager. I have had it before. It is very, very good. Uh... Yeah, drinking the Bud Light is bad enough, but I told him I put his sticker on it. So, Chris Lombardi, Imperial 12 year old Scotch here. Yeah, that's what I got my son. Yes, vote early, vote often. It sw swing the vote. I don't even care. Uh, the whiskey is uh, downstairs in the usual liquor spot. My kids are trustworthy. 
mean, he's only got one hinderer, guys. He's just got one. This is one of five. I can just make it rain hinderers here. I can just do that. If that's, if that's what it takes to get you guys to go vote early and vote often. I'll just make it rain. Hey, hey, my wife's on here. Hello, Lori. By the way, she is uh, still selling masks. If you guys want to do that, um, then go to her page, LHB Art on Etsy. I can't link to it here, but look at uh, LHB Art. Just look it up as that name on there says, and you can still go buy masks. And she has to be going back to work soon. So uh, she's been be going back in the office. So if you want one, you probably better get them quick while you still can. Yeah, because she's going to be way behind uh, coming up at, here after a while. Uh, can we put an option for neither because hindrance aren't that interesting? Ash can, oh my gosh, it, it cut your tongue. What is it? Bite your tongue? What is it? Bite your tongue, man. How can you say that? And, you know, you want to vote us, you want to vote so that both of us have to do something embarrassing. If it ties, that's what we'll do. War Horse is a combo of War Pig and Dark Horse. It is. That's why, that's partly the reason why I chose it. But I've never had this brand before, but it's really good. Mm. Say ZT is the new Gerber, and I'm spamming with you with votes. ZT is the new Gerber. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll say it. Um, <laughs> explosion of lightning and sparkles. I've arrived. Yeah, you got here. All right. Did your mirror break? So you had to take a you had to take a break from it, from your flexing and uh, weightlifting and whatever else Wahlbergs do. You can only vote once, can't you? If you not, if you have multiple accounts, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah my wife metal complex shows up. My wife leaves. She knows the score. She knows what to do. Yeah, and I'm gonna be on metal complex's stream later to uh, talk and trash. So um, it'll be it, this. This this is this is all just in good fun. But uh, bye bye, Lori. Um, <clears throat> this is exactly what happened. <laughs> Guess what's cracking? We're we're fighting. Metal Complex and I are in a feud. Just go down and vote down below who has the coolest sender. It's this one. It's this one. I mean, an XM24? Really? You need more than an XM18? I think you might be compensating for something if you're rocking an XM24. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's just a fact. Metal Complex. He never even shows what he's drinking on his on his stream. I I, I bet it's I bet it's White Claw. I just bet it is. What are we voting on? Who has the coolest hinder, me or Metal Complex? He's going to be live here in a little bit, too, and show his. But it's on the Instagrams and all that. There is a link down below to go vote. And like I said, vote early, vote often. Use your, use your account, your wife's account, your kids' accounts, your grandma's account. Make another account. He just drinks milk and protein shakes, yep, and says his prayers and takes his vitamins. He's the, the Hulk Hogan of... Uh, He's, he's the Hulk Hogan of the knife YouTube world, which is not a compliment, by the way. Except I don't think he's except for I don't think he's a horrible racist. Other than that, I think he's the Hulk Hogan. Uh, knife Whisper says, I love you, Slicey, but I'm with the dark horse. Ugh, how can you be? It's just it's just a black XM24. I'll bring justice and Bud Light. Well, then you bring injustice. By the way, in a serious note, um, uh, uh, things are cool here now, but uh, I did almost cancel this because uh, we had riots like uh, right across the river from my house, which means about uh, a mile away, and not even a mile away. Um, yeah, we could see and smell smoke at one point, so uh, that was pretty scary. Uh, but everything is everything's cool now. Um, I'm saying that because a couple of you guys asked, so. Um, uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty frightening for a moment, but uh, everything is uh, everything is cool now. So, um, uh, Ashcan, uh, what can I say? Hinders aren't my favorite designs. Although the Warncliff blade shape is slightly better. See, so go vote for it then. It's slightly better, so go vote for that. That's all I asked for. I don't care. It doesn't have to be a huge win. A vote's a vote's a vote's a vote. I don't care. Thanks, Zach. Stuff. Yes, the super chat is open. If everyone's kicking anything, I always do appreciate that. Yeah, I don't. I wish I had. I wish I could play Black Sabbath music on here without getting a copyright strike, but of course I cannot. So I can't do a cool rock and roll entrance. I wanted to play War Pig, but of course I can't. I looked for a royalty free version of War Pig and I couldn't find it. But uh, oh, wait, I can do this. I can give a smoke effect, though. There 
there. Rock and roll style smoke effect. Pretend that Warp Pig is playing by Black Sabbath. Yeah. I don't want to get into any political stuff. I just was saying that because you guys were asking, so don't go on about that. But yeah, we did have riots here today, but nobody got hurt, but it was a bit freaky for a moment, and there is a, an, a curfew on shortly, so uh, we'll see how much that. How do I vote dang it on the two options you posted earlier? Yes, Lavender Pants. The link is down below in the description. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I, mean, I, have, I have it put up here. So currently I am losing. I will admit I am losing. But uh, I've caught up a little bit. Now it's 59% to 41% for the war pig. Just just vote for the real the much cooler name and the much cooler blade. Right? Where's the zombie hunter? I don't have one at the moment. I sent it off to Shabazz. He's sending it back actually. So um uh Studfish says, I have six accounts. Oh, I'm still deciding who to vote for. How, what is it? Why is it a decision? Why is it a decision? Vote for the cool name. Vote for the cool name. Can I vote for the open L? No, you can't vote for the open L, but that would really make him mad. A vote for the war pig is a vote for the open L because he's, then he's going to have to carry it. Uh, what other hinder or blade styles do you have? You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just, this will be another, another excuse to uh, make you vote for me. I'm just going to make it rain henders now. We're going to bring all these back out in a minute, but uh, I'm not going to take up the whole the whole live stream with this ass hattery. But, um, and we'll talk more about some of these knives individually. There is one I really want to talk about, those really cool scales on my Neutron. I know you guys want to hear about that. So um, let's just make it rain henders. I have them all up. I have them all within arm's reach because I thought this might happen. I thought I might have to go. This is a Jurassic with uh, custom scales from Sharp Dress Designs. I have two different sets of custom scales for that. That those These are the Micarta. It's got some bronzy stuff on it. Um, we have one that you guys have seen very recently. Another No Choil, this is the Skinny Slicer XM18 with blue and blue hardware. We have another Warren Cliff, the XM18. I'm mean, sorry, the uh, half track, geez, some brain farting or XM, or the, I did it again. Half track, Warren Cliff, USMA Blade exclusive. I have so many hinders, I can't even keep track of them. That's just how it is. And the one that maybe I should have put up instead of the one that I did, we, ch we chose our champions and I chose War Pig, but I, I, maybe I should have gone with this one because a lot of people say they like the Choil. Um, I'm kind of in the no Choils lately, but this is an XM18 with the titanium uh, Warhog scale. But it's just a regular old slicer, not a not a very um, uncommon blade, so I didn't put that one up. But uh, maybe I should have swapped all the stuff onto that. That would have been smarter. That would have been smarter. I should have just swapped and had the... Ah, I could have had the combination of the both. Anyway, <clears throat> those are all of mine. I was down to four for about five minutes, and then I wound up with uh, another one. So, gosh, I'm knocking stuff over everywhere. Hey, Ocon, how's it going? Hey, BD. Yeah, Rick's been uh, Rick's been doing really, pumping out a whole lot, especially considering, you know, that they were closed out for a while. Yes, the Super Chat is open down below if you want to, but please, more importantly, go vote. Go vote often, early, many times. Like someone else said, pretend it's Chicago. Ouch, did you see the stubby strike? I don't know what that is. Hender's biggest fan better start shopping. Exactly. He's only got one Hender at a time. Metal Complex talks about how much he loves Hender's. I've owned 30. Yeah, you only ever keep one at a time. 100 viewers and it's not even usual night. Yeah, thanks, Jock Size. I do appreciate that. That's uh, that's very good. I wasn't expecting really awesome viewership tonight. So I did kind of give him the home field advantage tonight going on on his night. But uh, it's my son's, my son's uh, birthday tomorrow night. So I'll be hanging out with him. Drinking scotch like a man. That metal complex doesn't drink scotch. Just saying. Bet he doesn't. Booker Stubby Strike. Oh, yeah, I did see that. No, I didn't get one, though. Um, Got a half track on the way. Finally getting one. Yeah, the half track is an awesome knife. It's just uh, undeniably great. And I love this Warren Cliff one even more, especially. It's just... Uh, this is one that's gotten used enough. I actually... I got behind on it, and I didn't... Um, 
keep it stropped enough and I actually had to put a new uh, edge on it. It's got some sticky stuff on it, but I think I did a pretty good job. I tried to follow the factory, you know, profile and stuff, but yeah, the half track is just fantastic. I The only reason I don't have another half track is this one is just perfect. I just love this one exactly the way it is. So uh, is the half track too, too small for man hands, Chris? Uh, just Skolski ask. Just Skolski ask. Um, no, that's why I have the half drag. I don't like the three inch XM18. It is too small for my hands. It just feels weird. Um, this one does not. You can choke up on it really well, and it's just a thicker handle, and it just it fits my hands a lot better. I very much like this one. So, um, does the half track fall shut? Not quite. You just got a little wrist, and then it it slams shut. I wouldn't say it falls shut, but it's just because the blade's smaller, so it doesn't have quite enough. I want a full track so bad, Ocon says. You know, if I ever get another hinder, that would probably be the next one I get as a full track. I have been. I know there's one available. I'm not even going to tell you where it is because I think people don't realize it's buried away on somebody's website. And it is super cool and it's been there for quite a while. Metal Complex eats, pro eats protein powder without water. I agree, easy peasy. I agree. Let me see if you guys are voting. Don't even bother clicking the thumbs up. I'm not even going to tell you click the thumbs up. Don't click the thumbs up. Go down and vote for Warpig. You are. I'm at 42 to 58. I'm still behind. We cannot let this guy win because I'll have to drink a Bud Light. Uh, what do I have to do to get my hands in those Open Owl stuff? Fishing? Yes, convince Open Owl to make more of them. They won't make more of them for us. So, uh, yeah, I went through a whole thing trying to get them. I got a couple prototypes uh, from a... There's another company that was doing these for me and... When they went to go get more purples, uh, Open Owl said no. So uh, um, I could maybe get them in the wood with the purple logo, but that's not what I wanted. Super Steel Steve is on here, everybody. I know what you're going to type. Suck my biscuits. Yep, exactly what I thought he was going to say. Biscuits. That's what he's typing out. Suck my biscuits. Super Steel Steve, always with the classy intro. You gonna vote for me, Steve? I know that you like the XM18. I know you do. Go vote for me down below. There's a link in the uh, in the uh, description down below, right there. There's a link to a uh, a post uh, community post with a poll on it. So go vote there. And the, we're gonna keep this going till midnight tomorrow night. So. Um, uh, the trash chalking will continue for a while, so, uh, yeah. I have an idea for another video for a last-minute, uh, campaign video, so, um, did you guys ever watch that uh, video of the heater guy? That was about, I use my $1,500 knives and stab them into a tree and stuff. You might see a video similar to that tomorrow. Um, I didn't have a chance to view your vid yet, but if you had $500, would you go Hinder or CRK, uh, and good evening. Hey, Keith, how you doing? Um... I, I'd, I'd probably go hinder just because there's more options. Um, I do love my I do love my Chris Reeve a whole lot, but uh, just just for the options' sake. So, uh, have you checked out the Tucson TS81? I have I have not. Um, keep the streaming going for the same amount of time as the vote. Oh, Jack's life that would be horrible for everyone involved. I think. Uh, thank you very much, Franco. Thanks for for catching one. Uh, my vote could be swayed with. For a channel sub, done, done. Let me open. Let me open your page here. I am not. I am not ashamed. I'm not beyond doing that. So, uh, oh, I can't look you up. That's weird. I thought I could just click on you and go to your channel, but it's not. It's not letting me do that. Uh, did I get a shamori? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other subject. I did. I got one. But, uh, yeah, that was a, uh, I do believe the, uh, technical term is a cluster, I think, is the, uh, best way to describe that. Um, yeah, I wasted about two hours of my time before I got one, and then, uh, it just sat there all week, and it finally shipped today. So, um, I'm not finding you, mate. I'm trying to find the Knife Whispers thing here to try and buy a vote. All I see is Todd the Knife Whisperer. Oh, there you are. I got you. It took me a second. Oh, you got a Zerks on there. I like that. You are, I'm subscribed, so you have to go vote for me now. That's how it works. That was a legally binding verbal contract. Um, 
but yeah, no, I did get a Shamori, but um, man, I understand why that why everybody's so mad about that. Uh, <laughs> that was redonkulous. I've never seen a uh, more flubbed launch in my life, and I'll review it and I'll be mentioning it. There are more coming, though. I have heard very much that they are uh, they are coming, but that was just uh. That was just awful. Uh, skinny or standard, standard, skinny, if you're talking to me. I prefer the skinny XM18 very slightly, but uh, I, I do prefer the skinny a little bit. But the the one that's up the, in the contest is a is a regular. So, um, you never responded to my email. Didn't come off as one of those guys. Franco, I don't know what your email was. I'm not sure. Um... That Shimori sale fiasco will cause me to never put a dime in the pocket of the bulls. Yeah, I, I can understand that, Jeremy. I really can. Um, yeah, I don't know why they just didn't do it through a regular company that was used to doing it. And the whole, like, oh, we're done for the day. And then, oh, wait, yeah, no, we're not. Like, luckily, one of you guys uh, messaged me on Instagram. I'd never gotten one. I gave up, and I went back down and started cooking dinner. And then... I got a message from somebody saying, no, you can't go buy one. And I ran back upstairs to my computer and hit refresh. And sure enough, I could. And it was, but I like, even when you type in all your address, like the little button didn't come up. Thank you, Michael Gaglione. Very good guy. That's what you should be doing. Um, yeah, it was, a. it was a nightmare. I gave... If you give a shout out to my friend DTOM Knives and Gear, one of your next videos, I'll vote for you with all six accounts. I will give a big shout out to DTOM Knives and Gear because I like his channel a whole lot. He actually just bought something from me and he actually won one of our last charity auctions and is a solid, solid dude. And he should actually be having a knife, I think, on Monday sent for me. So, uh, yes, I'm very, very willingly give a shout out to DTOM Knives and Gear. It's a very, very good channel. Um, oh, regarding the Microtech bounty, I didn't. I don't remember seeing that one, Franco. I can't remember. I got a few emails about that, so it's not ringing a bell. Uh, what are we voting for? Who has the best hinderer, me or Metal Complex? This is just one of my five. Yeah, I'm just flexing. I don't care. I brought it all five of them. Uh, but yeah, this is the War Pig, as I've named it, because apparently we have to name them for this thing. I think knife names are stupid, but if you're going to have a name, it might be a cool one like War Pig. So this is, uh, yeah, my... Uh, DLT trading exclusive, no choil, XM18. Um, oh, I think I did respond to that, Franco. I said, uh, I thought I responded to it. I said, no, the, the bounty I found was gone. So uh, I, that's why I said no. Um, uh, with a working finish and all blacked out hardware versus his just boring old, hugely overcompensating XM24. That's all just black on black on black on black. I like the working finish because I work. I use mine. I don't, I don't really work that much, but yeah. Uh, B Swaim says, are you going to review the Canis? Yes, uh, I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on one of those. Um, I may, may buy one Monday if they're still around. I saw a few places they popped up at, but um, I'm waiting to see if one of my distributors is going to get them. And if he isn't going to get them, I'm just going to go pay retail for one. So I'll send my Pandemic Norseman for review for whatever they want. Customize whichever channel's favorite color. That sounds fun. Elite. Oh, yeah. Shoot me an email. I've never had a Norseman. I would like to check one out. I've handled one before. They're very, very cool. But uh, I don't. I think they're ugly. But uh, they seem very, very well. Very, very well made. Um, Eric Bowers, if you want a big old XM24 in your pocket just to weigh you down and hold you, hang, make you hang to one side, then that's uh, that's fine. I mean, you're dead to me, but I forgive you for voting for him. Never make eye contact with me if you see me in person, but I forgive you for voting for him. Um, and thank you, Richard Fan, for attempting to save me from Bud Light. Yeah, that's uh, so. Yeah, the the bet is if if I win, MC has to carry my slicey dicey branded Open L for a week, which is funny because he loathes Open Ls because he's a moron, and if he wins the next Bruise and Blades. I have to uh, drink a Bud Light with a Metal Complex sticker on it. Ocon 7, he uses the XM24 as an improvised dumbbell. You are correct, sir. You're correct. I vote XM18. I don't want to be disowned. There you go. 
Voter intimidation, vote early, vote often. I don't care. I'll manipulate this vote any possible way that I have to. What are we at now? What am I looking at? Still, I'm still losing. I'm still losing. 42% to 58%. Uh, best hinder knife to start with, I would say the Jurassic. I would say the Jurassic. I was going to say or, but no, the Jurassic. The Jurassic, definitely. You can change your votes, by the way, guys. I'm just saying. Somebody says, if I'd have known, I'd have voted Warhog. You can, you can change it. You can change it. It, you can change that vote all you want. It's just what that vote is at midnight tomorrow night. So as far as I could tell, you can still change your vote back and forth. So Jonathan Watts says, it seems there are a lot of people with bad taste. Yes, there are. So your Warhog is sick, not the cliff. So you, you, are you saying you don't like the war cliff? I can't get it. Uh, Justin Hartwan, or Hartoon, however you say it, says, uh, can I vote for Nick Schleese Bowie? Nope, he's not in it yet. We're not, I am going to do another one of these. I've already got one set up with another channel for another fake feud, and it's going to go to charity, but it's not Shabazz. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've one set up in a couple of weeks, but it's going to be fun. These are fun. It's just fun to talk trash about each other and then have a vote. So uh, the next one's higher stakes, though. The loser has to auction off the knife for charity. So it's, uh, it'll be a fun one. Thank you, Miguel. I appreciate it. I do rock. And that is why you should vote for my hinderer war pig on my, uh, on the, the thing down below, go down below to the community page. There's a link right down there in the description. Go, uh, go vote on that. Uh, what's the worst knife you've used recently? You know, what I thought it was going to be was Today, I had to hack down a bunch of weeds, and I bought one of those $20 machetes. It's a, uh, oh, Tarman, Tarmentino? Tra Tramentino? Somebody down here will know. You can buy them at Lowe's for like 20 bucks, made in Brazil. I thought it was going to suck. It was dull as hell when I got out of the box. I didn't sharpen it up just a bit. Holy crap, that thing was awesome. I thought it was going to be terrible. It went through everything like a laser. Those are really good machetes. Uh... Ocon7 says, I voted I voted for the pig board. Did I do right? No, you didn't. You fool. You fool. Jim Earl says, I, I just voted for you on my old lady's account. There you go. That's what I want. I want people voting on the, oh, anybody's account you can get access to. Uh, what's the higher stakes bet? Keystone Light. No, the joke is because Metal Complex actually does drink Bud Light and enjoys it. He drinks, he drinks Bud Light and enjoys it. Do you really want a guy like that to win? No, you want him to have to carry a purple open L for a week as a punishment for liking Bud Light. Even though it's not a punishment because it's a good knife. He's just dumb and doesn't like it. Hello, Professor Lord Darth Slicey. What's up? So who's winning? Right now, currently, my former apprentice is winning, which I'm not happy of. There we go. That's what I want. I want to see people voting early and voting often from whatever phone they can get. Exactly, Jock Snipes. Never trust a man who drinks Bud Light. That's just an unimaginative soul. That is just... That is a guy who goes in to a car dealership and purchases a brand new car and just takes a color from the lot. That's a guy who just walks in and buys a Toyota Camry and says, yeah, beige is fine. That's the kind of guy who drinks Bud Light. You can't... There's no place in our society for people like that. Other than MC's gym. Uh, Michael, I says, Metal Complex's punishment should be buy a decent six-pack for once. No, that would be a reward. Yeah, beige is not fine. Never trust anyone who buys beige cars. Yeah, he. May, I, I've also heard he buys Kia. I don't know if it's true, but I've heard. Some of the best people tell me he drives a Kia. And it's beige. No, I think I think he just goes in and just uh, yeah. I, I think he's the kind of guy who just buys, buys any whatever color there is. He goes in, buys sneakers, doesn't even look at the brand, just says yeah these fit and buys them. That's the kind of guy that drinks Bud Light. I do have a really cool pair of Nike Air Maxes coming this week. That's why I mentioned the sneakers thing. I'm very excited about it. So uh, they weren't they weren't expensive, but they're just really cool. Um, can you say China in that Trump-like voice, please? China. China. He actually says it with a G. China. Um, 
What's your favorite type of beer? Uh, good stuff. I don't know. I don't really have a huge favorite. I guess if uh, not now because it's hot out, but usually I like um, uh, Scotch Ale. It's probably my favorite, like just general kind of beer. Uh, TX Toes says Microtech SoCom Elite versus LUDT. Wow, totally different knives. Um, uh, if I only had to have own one, the LUDT because it's much easier to carry. Uh, but wow, they are completely different. Um, I'm going to put some of the hinders away now. I flexed enough. I think I made my point, right? That he has one hinderer, one, and I have five. Point made, I think. But we are going to leave the war pig out. Eric Bowers, you're on the edge of being banned. What did he say now? Oh, I missed it. I'm not going to go back for it. Um, Juan Hinderer. Yes, that is his name. Juan Hinderer. Um, Yingling is my brain. You know, Yingling is not horrible. I do not mind Yingling at all. That is uh, when I'm out of bars and stuff. If it's on tap and they don't have anything else cool, that is often what I would get. You guys should totally do a collaboration together, Professor. He says, we, this is kind of as close as you get. It's kind of hard to figure out like stuff like that. We've been trying to figure something out for a while, but... Um, uh, this is probably as close as you're going to get. Because it's kind of hard to, like, record everything together. So, um, uh, Jeremy Russell says, can I send you a beer for Bruising Blades? You absolutely can. I may have a beer sponsor shortly. Um, but I can mix them up. They're cool people. They won't mind. Speaking of cool knives that look awesome. Look at the scales on my neutron. Uh, these are from Match Anderson. You can find him on Facebook. I'm going to put a video out on these once he has his new uh, um, full site up. But these are amazing. And I do like them very, very much. And they're only like 80 bucks. And they're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scales. And I had lots of options. Uh, it's, it's so good. I love it. And it just makes the knife so much better. They're very nicely, like, chamfered and everything. Like, I know it's not going to come, come, come across on camera, but what I like is even how, like, on the screw holes, they're nicely, like, finished off. I mean, there is, like, no rough spots whatsoever here. I have a lot of really old and, you know, theoretically very expensive antique furniture, and none of it is as nice as these scales. It's just super cool. Bring out the knives that I originally planned on having out here tonight. Before you guys made, made me uh, start swinging hinders everywhere. Up to 112 now. Cool. Cop car outside. Cool. He's going the other way. That's even cooler. Uh, what else did I have out? I think I had the launch 11 when we started here. What if Bud Light wanted to sponsor you? Would you just pour a real beer in a Bud Light can? Yeah, I, I would say bottles because that'd be easier. But yeah, I'd just probably pour water in a bottle and I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, I've got a bunch of 30s and 40s furniture too. I had a, um, it's all stuff I inherited. Like I'm not like, I don't go antiquing. Um, although I, well, I have gone antiquing in the past, but I don't regularly do it. So yeah, the super chat is open down below. If anyone wants to kick in a few shekels, we always appreciate that. Got 120 on here now. That's pretty good for not my usual night. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy about that. Uh, Bud Light, the Fiat of drinks. Jack's Knife says, I don't insult Fiat that way. Fiat makes has made some cool cars. Uh, I would say they are the uh, the Kia. I oh, know Kia makes a good car now, the Stinger. Who's the company that just doesn't make a good car? Hyundai. Hyundai makes solid, like, reliable cars, but, yeah, I'd, I'd say they're the Hyundai. Bud Light is the Hyundai of beers. Uh, thoughts on the Tanto PM2 uh, Tackle Central Fishing. I'm really annoyed that it's going to be a uh, freaking Blade HQ exclusive. Uh, that really annoys me to no end. Um, I, that was not what I was told, and now it is, and that is very annoying. Um the Honey Genesis line is two notch. Don't hate. I don't know what two notch means. I think that was a, a mistype. But can you spot a Honey Genesis like out of a lineup of other cars? They just look like every other car. Top notch. Yeah, they're very nicely built cars. So they're just boring. I they look like every other car. Uh, Mini Freak S90V. Somebody said I do have one of those coming. 
So, and I do have a Benchmade 9400 Auto 940 coming, so uh, pretty excited about that. Yeah, Benchmade actually uh, reached out to me through Knives Illustrated, so... Um, the Kia Telluride is pretty nice. Zach, that is the most hideous vehicle I have ever seen in my life. Those Tellurides, the first time I saw it, I literally just said, Jesus. Like, that is just the most ugly car ever. Uh, do I have a Super Freak? Yes, I do. I love the Super Freak. It's a great knife. Uh, carbon fiber on the Warhog scale? Yes, it is. It is a machine carbon fiber. DLT exclusive scale. DLT exclusive knife. So much better than Metal Complexes. Little all blacked out XM24. His compensation knife. So go down again. Down below, there is a link. Go vote for me. Vote for the war, vote, vote for the war pig. I'm going to see what the numbers are now. I bet they... Oh, there we go. We're catching up slowly. We're the legend that could. 43% to 57%. We're still behind, though. Go, go take your kids' phones. Go take your kids' phones. Uh, and go, go vote on them. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Chevy HHR is the ugliest car ever. It might be. Uh, are you willing to trade Super Freak? No. Um, what's behind the edge thickness on the XM18 warning? You know, I don't know because I never did a full video on it. I know it works well. We can find out right now. Would Metal Complex do this? Would he just whip out a set of scales and measure behind the edge of one of his eyes? No. I don't even know if he knows how to. Because he borrows really expensive knives from other people. Uh... 20 thousandths or so, about 20 thousandths beyond the edge. That's a hard one to get live, but uh, there we go. Wife just voted for you. Good. I don't care if it was even really her. If it was you, it'd be fine. I don't care. At Metal Complex, you are not safe here. You know what's funny is I know for a fact he's putting his children to bed right now, so he is completely defenseless because he said he wouldn't be able to hop on very often because he's putting his kids to bed. <laughs> so, so I like that it's just, I like that it's just, uh, He's totally defenseless, and we're just sitting here talking trash about him. Bud Light is the Yugo of beers. No, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't like, uh, I'd say that's like uh, Grolsch is probably the Yugo of beers. I, I'm still going with Hyundai. Hyundai makes very good, solid cars, but they're just not exciting in any way whatsoever. Uh, would you ever get any steel flame? I don't know what you mean, Mark. Not quite sure what you're, yeah, we're getting closer. Bud Light is the Watu of beers. The, the Watu is a good knife. And I don't care what you people say. This is a really good knife. I love it. I do care what you people say. I'm sorry. I want you to go vote for me. Go vote for the thing. I'm sorry. Yes, you're all right. All you guys think this is ugly. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, go vote. Go vote for me. Go vote for the War Pig. Forget I said that. Uh, Bud Light's 85 Camaro T-Tops. You know, I can't... I've, not 85, not that old, but I admit I have been half-heartedly shopping for a, a Camaro. Uh, Watu saying about my Watu. Uh, what do you mean by you people? Oh, God. So, yeah. Watu is not hideous. It's just a great knife. It's not pretty, but it's not hideous. But it is a great knife. Um, so slicey. I love the thing. It's just a laser beam. I carried it, like, for two days in a row earlier this week, and, man, I really liked it. Uh, da, da. Yeah, Tim's little, yeah, link in the description to go vote for the War Pig. There is a link down below. Go vote for that. Not nice, Ashcan. You don't like Henders. You don't like the Watu. What do you like? What do you like, Ashcan? You don't seem to like very much at all. What do you like? What What brings you happiness in this world? Can't wait to go with the deal. Jumbo. Yeah, I got one of those pre-ordered, too. And I have a Canis on the way. Canis, Canis. I still think it's Canis. But anyway, yeah, the Canis. I had no interest in the Canis whatsoever. And then I saw OCD for EDC's video of it. I'm like, ooh, wait a minute. It's Hollow Grind? Ooh, I kind of want that. Um, yeah, McKeim, these are uh, Match Anderson. You can find them on, uh, you can find them on uh, Facebook. Match Anderson, how you think it would be spelled. I, it makes me laugh because it just sounds like the name of an action hero from the 80s. It's like, Madge Anderson. I told him that, so he knows I think that. Everybody remain calm. Madge Anderson is here. 
I think that's his actual real name, too, which is just amazing. Uh, Ohio Knife Lover says, hey, Slicey, how the family's doing? Thank you for asking. I do appreciate it, Ohio Knife Lover. Thanks for the thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's all, we're doing all right. Uh, the riots got kind of close tonight, but uh, everything seems to be cool now. So um, uh, I bit the bullet and have an international exclusive red bug out heading back from across the pond. Zach stuff says, ooh, look at you. You're doing everything. I have a red bug out, but I just made it like a man. Why am I talking trash about you? You're not even in this yet. Yeah, Zach's Zach stuff is my next target, by the way. We've already figured a thing out, so there will be more trash talking coming in the future between Zach's stuff and I, and we're really excited about it. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, Zach's a good dude, and I think it will bring some attention to his channel, and I don't mind losing to him at all. I do really mind losing to Metal Complex, though, because he used to be way behind me, and I helped him get his channel started, and now he has more subscribers than me. So that really makes me angry. Uh, yeah, we'll be safe. Everything's fine now. It's just a, it got a little bit rough there for a minute. Uh, Lee, what knife could you compare to a Sebenza behind a hin besides a hinder in terms of quality and finish action and stuff? Oh, probably a uh, oh, a Medford comes to mind. Um, some of the nicer Riots, I think, come to mind. I think those are what come to mind. Actually, I should bring out my... Does anybody want to see my Medford? What am I going to put away? We'll put away this because no one's even mentioned it was out here. This is a BRS Nomad. Nobody mentioned it, so I will, uh, I'll put it down. And I'll get out my Medford because it's a pretty one. Got to open my vault case. Oh, I didn't put knives back in their things. This is going to be clattery. I apologize. Ah, what the heck. And we'll bring out the Sabenza as well. Since we're in here and they're next to each other. There we go. Any new knives we haven't seen yet? I haven't gotten many new ones this week. I thought I was going to have a... Uh, Gareth Bull Shamwiri, the We Made Shamwari, but uh, they decided not to ship it until today. So uh, I'll have it Tuesday. Thought I'd have that out today, but um, uh, Chris just Kolsky says Medford smooth criminal, good first Medford. Nah, I wouldn't say so. It's not really very Medfordy. Um, I do like it a lot. I've never seen one that had really awesome action though. Um, but uh. But did you get your certificate for your Dalika? I did not, Zach Stuff. I did not. Mine is an uncertified Dalika. Yeah, Shamweary, you're right. Yeah, Shamweary is what he was calling it, and then now it's become the Shamweary. But uh, Metal got new knives. What the fuck? I, yeah, I got, I got, oh, I said a bad word. I got some this week, but um, they've already been seen on the channel, I think. Let me look, behind, let me look around here at my new box stuff to review thing. Yeah, no, nope. I'm trying to I'm trying to catch up. I still got a whole lot of stuff to catch up on. So, uh, um, Curtis F3. I've never even held a Curtis F3. What about your best friend key from Nick? I didn't get it. He's sending me some stuff though. I'm gonna bug him about it. So, uh, yeah. Northrum Skaha. Yeah, I almost bought another one of those uh, this week. Somebody offered to sell me their spot, but um, I couldn't do it. So. That didn't happen. I'm going to flip my fan on really quick here. Hold on one second, guys. It got hot up here. Sorry about that. It got warm. Yeah, Keith is a untrustworthy guy. No, Keith's great. Uh, Ria Iron Slice, I got one I can send to you. Yeah, if it's the non-flipper one. I'm not really interested in the flipper one, just because it's kind of like everything. But i kind of be interested in the non-flipper one. That'd be kind of neat. Um, a couple of Shamwiris on eBay for 600 plus. It has begun, Kane says. Yep, exactly. And you know what? I don't... Uh, I, I think they're doing another run. I don't realize... I don't think people realize that. I'm pretty sure they're doing another run of them. It wasn't one and done, and everybody's going to pay 600 bucks for them, and then three months from now, you're going to be able to buy them for the 283 again or whatever it was. But whatever. 
Uh, thoughts on Vera Engineering? I've never held any of their stuff. I'm aware of them, but... um. Okan7 says, wait, I just realized you still have my stuff. Keith for president. I don't think Keith would want to be president. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would, uh, who would pursue the office. He would probably say, if elected, I will not serve. Which is what I would say as well. I do not want to be president. Screw that. They don't even get paid that much. Just seems kind of dumb for me. I'm going to say anybody who wants who wants uh, the office probably doesn't deserve it. Isn't that what they usually say? And the Protec Malibu. This has been in my pocket a whole lot. This barely didn't make my seeds for the month only because it was new. It will be on it next month. I guarantee it because the Malibu is just fantastic. Let me gonna put away. Put away the American Blade Works. Have not, nah, we'll put away. We'll put away the Warrior. That's been out here before. I don't think I've had this on the live show yet. So, oh, that Malibu. Yes, the Malibu is amazing. God, I don't want to get in political stuff. I just was making a, uh, just making a joke. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna wrap this up right at like nine. Um, Justin Hertoon, any any Chavez? I did. I had a uh, two two nine, but uh, I sold it. Can't get past the skull clip. I just don't like it. But remember, vote early, vote often. For the war pig, it is listed down below. There is a uh, thing on my community page, a little poll, and we have a a really uh, stupid bet going, which will be a lot of fun. You lost the link for some cool scales for X eighteen tier one. Well, there you go. You gotta you gotta pay attention. Yeah, it is about two in the morning there, isn't it? I never realized you were in the UK, Jax. I I'd never realized that. Hmm. Yeah, dictator. I would take Keith. Yeah, if if I could just be declared dictator, I'd do that. But I don't want to run for like office and have to answer to people. Yeah, dictator would be kind of cool. Can't find it again to save an orphan child. <laughs> You're saving an orphan child with hinder scales? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we got up to, like, what was it, 125 at the peak or something? Not bad for an off night. That's pretty good. I think my, rec my record's 197. I have a feeling that Metal Complex is going to break it tonight. I think his is 193, maybe? Um, but uh, I bet I'll probably get it. Uh, thoughts on, like, I'm I have a Biblio and a Iona with um, uh, scales. Couldn't think of the word aluminum for a second there. That was weird. Yes, I'd make everyone carry open else. Just with my logo on them just for a day. With my face on them. Hell, if I'm dictator, I'll put my face on them. Uh, order Freeman 41 flippers since you're sold so fast. Decided I have to get one. I hope the lead time isn't terrible now. Colin Gobby says, it's not. The lead time isn't terrible, Colin, but just know they only ship on Fridays. So it's like, if whenever you order, it's the next Friday that they ship. But uh, yes, I did sell my Freeman just because I had nothing left to do with it. So it was mostly for the channel. And now I have another S45 VN knife, so I didn't need to have it. Couldn't think of any more videos for it. So uh, yes, but I do have an S45 VN PM2 that I'm waiting for new scales. Is there really a face-off of Metal Complex? Charles Cha says, yes, there is. It is uh, listed down below. You can go vote for who has the coolest hinderer. My war pig is, I had to name it, they made us name it, infinitely cooler name than his versus his XM24 Dark Horse. There's a link down below to a community page poll where you can go vote for that. So uh, you'd be better than some dictator. You get to carry knives. You can carry whatever knife you want. I don't care. When I, when I rule the planet, yeah, you can carry whatever. You can, you can Lynn Thompson that crap up every day, and I don't care. Uh, what blade steel is the new sham? I think it's M390. Elite? I think it's M390. Uh, but yeah, I got mine, paid for it, and then it just sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there and finally shipped this morning. You send me that war pig, I'll send you a sticker. Not a fair trade, Drope. Uh, hydrate. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. Do you like Microtech SoCom? I love it. It's one of my favorite knives that I own. I did a video about how it took me uh, 
14 months to find exactly the one I wanted, Mark. And it would be one that I would um, stick around forever. All right, keep around forever, so I'll make sure I got the right one. Eric Bauer said you can run for office under the name Dictator. I see what you did there. Aren't you clever? Only ships on Friday. I'm going to try that at work and work, see how it goes. Yeah, well, it's a one-man show, so I think he just builds and builds and builds all week and ships on Friday. Love the launch 11. Oh, that's going to be tomorrow night's video. Since I'm not going to be live tomorrow night, since we I did this silly thing, um, it is going to be launch 11. I have them right out here because I was just I just actually already recorded the video. Launch 11 versus oh a Q-tip attached. So I just threw a Q-tip across in front of live screen. You don't see this kind of awesome preparedness on a metal complex video. I'm just saying. But uh, versus the ProTech Newport. So that is uh, tomorrow night's video. At my usual live time at 8 o'clock, you'll see uh, these two facing off in a battle to the death. I'll tell you it's a close one. Uh, Launch 11 is such a great little blade. It is. It's a really good knife. It's going to be a tough battle to the death because they, they are both really cool. I both enjoy them very much, and I have no desire to get rid of either of them, except I've almost given this one to my son just because he likes autos, but... He's not technically illegal or technically allowed to carry them, so I don't want to give him something that might get him in trouble. So uh, that's one reason why I haven't given him one yet. But they are great, great knives. Best Leatherman. I I don't I have I just have a um, a wave, and that's I've been happy enough with it that I haven't felt I need to buy another one. Tackle Central, so that's why. Uh, did I miss him talking about us to 45 VN? Uh, very briefly, I, I haven't really done anything with this yet. I'm waiting for my new scales and stuff. Um, so, uh, give him a buck 110 auto. He has, he loves his buck 110. My son's an Uncle Randy. I don't know how I managed to, to raise an Uncle Randy, but I did. He loves his bucks. He has a 110 Select, the S30V1 with the G10 scales, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, with one of the screw-on thumb stud things. And then he has a 112 Slim. Uh, that's what he usually carries. He does like the bug out. I did give him a bug out for, loaned him a bug out for a while, and he kind of liked it, And the, but he didn't like the plasticky handles. And then uh, that's what my custom one is now. He wound up uh, kind of giving it back to me, and I customized it. So um, Okan says the left hand and Uncle Randy, where did you go wrong? I don't know, man. I don't know. I blame his mother. Uh, can your son and I have an auto because of his age? Because because you can't technically carry them outside the house here in uh, New York. You can own them, but you can't carry them outside the house. Um, Ash, can I been? Oh, did Chris Reeves have anything to do with S forty five VM like its predecessor? Joshua says, you know, that's a good question. I don't think so. I know they're talking about uh, switching to it, but I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Because uh, they're like the last on board to switch to it. Um, I know I've heard several rumor mills of several companies that are going to be switching to primarily S45 VN. Uh, what are your thoughts on RWL 34? Nice deal. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's basically CPM 54, right? And I like that. So what you're saying is if you get him an auto, he'll never leave the nest. Yeah, exactly, Ocon. That's right. Yeah, I think it's like CPM 154. It's like a powdered 154. Let's see how I'm doing on the voting here. I'm sure I'm still behind, but let's see by much. And I still have... That's the lock bar flexing a tiny bit. It's... I think... I think that was a giant overblown thing. Am I the only one lagging? I don't know. Nobody else is anything about it. Uh, elite. Huh. I don't know. Mine's going fine. I do not know. Little lag. Weird. I'm not getting any. Hmm. Hmm. It's not on my end. I have a little monitor going up, and my upload speed has remained very, very, very stable. So I think it is a, an issue with the tubes of you. It's definitely not on my end, because I have everything going fine. 
Uh, what was this about the new Shaman and M390? Anybody? Haven't heard anything about that. Um, Connor Mitchell says, and YouTube knows it's not your usual night. Yeah, maybe that is it. Maybe they say, get back, get back in your lane, Dicey. Get back in your lane. Uh, any ever say a word too many times it stops making sense? Lag. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Says, How is it to ship your stuff? Impossible labor prints. Yeah, I don't I hate shipping to the UK. Um also videos in good quality. I don't know, it looks good on my end and everything's uploading fine. You just gotta wait. It's T minus five to the night's show. Now it lags. Weird. Hmm. No, his is actually at nine central because he goes in that weird time. His isn't for an hour and five minutes. Hiding his Wahlburger face behind that stupid helmet. I bet he wears one of those helmets around the house. What do you bet? It's all in good fun. Uh, and, uh, Victor Dennis says, are they protesting, protesting over there? Yeah, I almost delayed the live stream. We got kind of close to our house for a minute, but it's all fine now. I talked about it earlier. Zach Stuff says, oh, yeah, he has, he has to get his pre-video workout. Yes, absolutely. He has to admire himself in the mirror and, and giggle about nothing. I've never seen a person laugh so much at their own jokes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to allow that tonight just because we're talking trash tonight. Uh, um, I'm an hour west of the Twin Cities. Pray for me. Tackle Central Fishing says, I think you're probably fine as long as you don't live in a major city. Uh, did you see the new 940? MC found, well, it was actually a 940 auto. Yeah, I have one on the way, Sean Bryan, actually. Yeah. Well, I have one reserved. They said they're going to send me one as soon as they have them. But, uh, uh, what is the embarrassing bet for the loser? The embarrassing bet is that if MC wins, I have to drink a Bud Light with a Metal Complex sticker on it next week. If MC loses, he has to carry this purple open L with my logo on it for a week straight and has to videotape himself proudly showing it to someone who is not his wife because he hates open L's. Thought the mediator was a 940 auto. Yeah, but it's a uh, even thicker blade. So this one I think will be a little bit better, but it's green. I don't like that. I mean, I get, I get why they did it. It's the, Original color of the 940, I understand it, but it's like, it's green. Ah, I don't like green. Marjorie, dinner time. Have a good dinner. Enjoy. So we're sitting on about an hour here. Uh, should I try to sharpen my M4 shaman myself or send it to a promo real novice? Uh, Marquise, the M4 is, is not that hard to sharpen. It just takes a while, uh, but I probably wouldn't hack at it unless you have diamond stones. If you have any kind of diamond stone system, then, uh, then go for it and just be patient. Um, uh, takes a little while, but, oh, my wife's back. Hello, Lori. Um, yeah, M4 is not bad. It just takes a while. It's not chippy or difficult or anything. It's not like, uh, S90V is the only one that I consider it to be someone else's problem. If my S90V gets dull, I'd send it off to somebody else. <laughs> I just don't even want to deal with it. I keep it stropped so that I don't have to worry about it. But S90V, like on this uh, Medford, that's one of the only ones that, like, I just, oh, my God, it drives me insane. Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy will be getting this when it needs to be sharpened. Jeremy Russell is an amazing sharpener, by the way. I've had several of his knives as loaners, and they always have amazing edges on them. Yep, Keith's right. If you have M4, if you have diamonds, M4 is not bad at all. My wife carries one of my uh, Slicey Dicey Open Owls. It's the only knife she will carry since she's on here. We'll call her out on that. And she really likes it. She thinks it's a very nice knife. And I've actually witnessed her use it before. And we have one in the kitchen. We have a big giant one in the kitchen. And we have other various ones scattered about the house. But yes, my wife likes Open Owls. It's about the only thing I can get her to carry, but... She likes it a whole lot, uh, especially because it's purple. Um, does still wish that one went production slices. Yeah, so do I. We came really close, but they didn't want to make it. I'm going to try again uh, sometime, but yeah, I really want to make a whole bunch of the purple open L's. 
Just like me? Yes, yes, just like you, because they're cute and funky, just like you. You're not funky, though. Well, funky in a good way. Not funky like a smelly way. Uh, Eric goes, well, you can be interested in a Marfio and Custom Silcom Elite to do a video on? Maybe, Eric. Yeah, I don't do customs a whole lot, but maybe. I think, I think it would just hurt my soul, because I'll never own one. Uh, have you tried setting some open owls, some cheese to soften them up? They'll do it for wine and cheese. Oh, God, says, maybe they will. I don't know. Um, got to play around with the Praetorian Slim last night. I'm in love. Tier 1 says, yeah, that's my next big one, I think. I'm, I'm going to be selling some stuff. There will be a knife sale this week. I've given the given the uh, people on um, Patreon enough time. There will be a knife sale, and that's what I'm selling stuff for, is I want to get a uh, Slim Praetorian. See you later, Ashcan. Uh, can I see that Medford action? I mean, they're not really known for having amazingly impressive action, but it's pretty good. Drops all right. Snaps out okay. It's just running on uh, Foster Brown's washers. It is extremely smooth, but you can't, like, you know, see that in the video. But it's, yeah, it's just as smooth as a uh, Mice Benza or anything like that. For sure. Chris Lowry says, I had to sell my Praetorian Slim to Detent last week. Well, that sucks. 55.45 we're up to now. I'm still behind. Got to get ahead of this. I don't want to drink a Bud Light next week. I really should have chosen my other hinder. I should have put, done my full tie one. I should have blade swapped. I should have put the... Yeah, I should have put the tie scale on my... You guys don't seem to care about the carbon. Uh, still waiting on that Malibu. Yeah, the, they're be out, they should be out imminently. I would expect probably like next week. Uh, choil or no choil on a hinder and why? I go back and forth, but mostly I'm no choil right now. You get a bit more uh, cutting edge and stuff. Sometimes the choil is nice, though. Uh, Ocon says, now nah, I think you made a good choice. All right, that makes me feel a little better. So, uh, dying for the Protect Malibu and the Arc form still. Yeah, I don't have the Arc form or even have one coming. I do have another, uh, new port coming. It's, this new port is gonna, this new port is gonna go away and get replaced with a fancier one. Um, definitely should have used the other scale, but still looks clean. Yeah. You're a choil kind of guy. Yeah, but I like the warning. Uh, favorite EDC steel stud fishing ass uh, S35 VN for day to day stuff. It's just super easy to cut. Yes, buy some masks for my wife. Go to LHB Art on Etsy. Mr. McKenzie says Newport is my next project. The Newport's a fantastic freaking knife. I love it. And there will be a battle to the death between the Newport and the Launch 11 tomorrow night on this channel instead of having the the live show. Yes, shameless plug for my wife. You guys have been awesome. And by the way, if you guys bought masks from my wife, uh, please go leave a positive feedback because it helps out a lot. And it would be very cool for her for you to do that right now. Um, and, uh, I love choils. Yeah, see, that might have been another mistake I made was going no choil. But no choils are more rare, so it's... Uh, uh, Jock's Knife, if I want stickers, slice so I pay more for an alert shipping. It'd be nice, but, uh, not necessarily. No, I just put stamps on them. But the last batch I sent out, a lot of people are saying they didn't get them, which is really annoying, because I hand-wrote all those freaking addresses on there, and now some people haven't gotten them. Uh, has the exposed lock face bothered you on the Slim Mini? Nah. It is after nine. We've gone a little bit over. Need link approval. It's not even coming up, man. I don't know. They changed everything. I can't even approve links anymore. This doesn't even show them. Uh, I don't think he wants me to know. At Stud Fishing Industry, do you know how much he spent on knives total? I don't spend any of our, like, pocket money on uh, on knives. It's always stuff for the channel, and she knows I resell them and usually make a profit here and there. So it's all good. But, all right, um, I've been Witchcraft Brewery and Webster. Yes, I have, Chris. Uh, so, it is 9.04. I'm going to, yes, exactly. Lori doesn't tell me how much she spends on our supplies. I don't tell her how much she spent on knives. So, uh, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. It is 9.05. I'm going to take a minute, get some food and things, and then I will be on Harassing Metal Complex on his channel when he goes live at 10 my time, at 10 normal people time, 
uh, 9 p.m. Central, as he calls it. And because, uh, yeah, he didn't show up on mine very much, but you know what? I'm going to do it. So uh, I have no shame. So see you guys there. Have a good one.